How you doing guys? This is Dana from Masculine Investing. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, what I want to talk about tonight is always being a creative minded land investor. Uh, another very, very important lesson. Uh, if you're creative, uh, way more opportunity will come your way. Uh, there's so many times in my land investment business that uh, one option wasn't going to work. Uh, every call is so important to me. I obviously know the value of the deal, so I'm not going to pull the trigger if it's not worth it to me to buy wholesale and I can't sell it at a profit, a decent profit. But, you know, it, it's as well as knowing the, the phases of a real estate cycle. For instance, if you really understand the phase of a real estate cycle and you know we're heading into a hyperinflation stage, for instance, uh, you have an opportunity to buy some property, uh, it's in your wheelhouse. Uh, and you don't want to tie up the money, you got your money tied up other places, you got properties on the market that, that's moving, you just haven't got the cash. Another option, if you're creative minded, you can, you can go towards the uh, option, option uh, deal with a, a person and you can offer them an option which means you put so much down, a small deposit or a substantial deposit and you're buying time. And uh, if you know it's going to hyperinflation stage, for instance, or that phase of the real estate cycle, if you can buy a year of time or two years, a lot of times you can you can double and quadruple your money with the same amount of money down. And the difference is you just got to be able to come to the table at the end of that time or you lose your deposit. But it's a great way to do business and buy time. Uh, many times I've had people that called me and I wanted to do the deal. And, uh, you know, you got to know the questions. You got to ask the questions. Uh, why are you selling? What's the reason you're selling? What do you need the money for? A lot of times you'll find out when they answer those questions, it's not all about the money. They may have a vacation they want to go on. They may need a boat. They may need a car. They may want another location for property. Uh, there's many reasons, and if you, if you ask the questions and, you, and you're creative, a lot of times you can find the answer. Uh, but if you're thinking just one way you got your blinders on, I, I believe me when I tell you, a lot of opportunities are going to pass you by. Uh, as, you, as you practice the business, as you become... A student of the business and you get your feet wet you'll see what I'm talking about and a lot of times if you haven't got an answer my, my the way I deal with it is I never respond that first day and just pull the trigger yes or no uh, typically I'll get back to them let them know I'm willing to pay for the property uh, once I find out what their answer is to the questions I asked and 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 then if it's something that's going to be an option or some other alternative that I'm going to use because I always the deals if they're good I want to get the deal every time I'll say, well, could you give me a couple days? Let me think about that. So let me see if I can come up with something for you. Let me see if I can work with you on that. Uh, same with owner financing. A lot of times you've got to be flexible with the people. But the story is the more creative you are, the more beneficial it will be to you in the land investment business. So that's the lesson, basically. Just keep that in mind. And, and you learn as you go. But keep an open mind. Always ask the questions. What are you looking for? Why are you selling? Why do you need the money? What do you plan on doing, if you don't mind me asking? Be creative. In, in, in a creative mind, you'll get a lot more opportunities to buy good properties. And, and I'll go back to that learning the four phases of real estate cycle that we go over pretty extensively in the ABCs of the uh, land investing course. Really be a student of that because as times pass and we go into recession period, we go into the recovery period, the expansion phase, or even hyperinflation, each, one's, each one of those phases is a key to making a lot of money. And a lot of times, certain periods of that, that cycle will give you more opportunity to, to apply one of those, those different applications to buying the property. Like I said, an option. Uh, you might want to finance it on terms. Because a lot of times, I'll say, listen, if I can buy it for 1000 down and 200 a month, and I, and I know that the value is going to go up, sometimes I only tie up for a year and I, get, I make a lot of return on the money. So the key is keep your money in your pocket if you can, most times. The least amount of money out of pocket is key, and that's being creative. So I'm not going to keep you guys, but just keep that in mind, and we'll go over a little more extensively in, in the intermediate series. But thank you guys for tuning in. Be safe. Be kind. Go inspire somebody. If you like this business, become a student of the business. Continue to learn. Thank you guys for tuning in. Talk to you soon. I'm out. Bye-bye.